Hello everyone, this is Sunshine Collector with another action figure review and here at Modoc. Uh, so let's go over the packaging here. So we get a picture of Modoc here, the figure. Uh, and then we get the Marvel Legends logo on the top left. And then we get the wording Modoc. Uh, I forgot what his, what the, uh, what each letter meant. I think it's like machine. Uh, only to kill something. I don't know. And then you get the Hasbro sign there. Uh, and then here's the cider of Modoc with that uh, Le Marvel Legends logo there. Here's the back here. Shows you what it comes with. So it comes with like that joystick, arms, blast effects, two different head sculpts. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Marvel Legends logo on and top left. Here's the Modoc symbol there, furnished. And then here's the one with the DCPI. And let's see what it looks like once we take the cover off. All right, so for this, we got to build it ourselves. So first, let's take this off. All right, so first we get this like little back cover piece here for him. We'll just build him first before we do that. And then we get that head sculpt here. We'll go over that too once we build him. We get this little flare effect that goes underneath. Um, and then we got this other pieces here. Get them off. And then you get the two legs for him. Get the blast effect for him here. So you just put that on top, just like that. There, one piece done already. Um, and then we get this, which is supposed to go underneath. And then we get that front piece here with the arms and joystick stuff. Here's the top of his head. And then we get two extra hand, hand sculpts here. If I can get them out. Hang on, give me a second. One of them fell off. There it is. So, two extra hand sculpts. So I think first we have to do this. So first we slide that in, it looks like. In between there it clicks in just like that and I think we have to put this in first maybe or maybe not nope never mind I was wrong you put it on top and over so that way the purple goes over it and then you get this back piece here and plug it into the holes I had it upside down just like that, it pops right in. And then you get the little ball joints here. So this one I think is his right leg. So just pop that in there like that. And then his other one right here, pop that in just like that. And then boom, you got uh, Modoc here. I know if you want to put them on the display here, there's a ball here, socket there. Just pop it in. I think it's in. There we go. That's better. So, yeah, that's him all displayed up there. And then, yeah, like I said, we get some accessories with him. So, first, we get that extra head sculpt here. Uh, so, I think what you would do to switch them out is just pop this off and... There's that little slot there for you. And just slide this back in there like that and boom. But yeah, and then we also get this like little hand here that helps him uh, maneuver the joystick here for him. And you get one fist of hand and then you get two both hand open hands. So yeah, that's pretty good. But yeah, that's all we got for accessories. I think this one, I don't know why. You could tell me if I'm wrong, but I feel like this this one right here has a little bit more of a paint job than this one. This one looks like they just skipped out in the face paint job there with all the wrinkles, you know. Because this one, he's screaming, yeah. You get some, like, dark splotches here. You get the white eyes, too. And then you get this, like, little thing over his head that helps him um, control stuff. And then you get the teeth, tongue, the lips look good, all the wrinkles and stuff like that. But I feel like this one has a little bit more paint. In it like look at the frowns the wrinkles in there and looking here this one it looks like it has a little bit more pinkish brownish look 
and then he's grumpy in this one. The nose looks good. Small nose, grouchy. You get the little zigzags there on his chin. Nice green ones, and then a nice uh, glossy black. I like the gold for this a lot. You get that little symbol there in the back for, it's not the actual symbol for aim, but yeah. And then you get the hair on top, which looks good. It looks like he has a hurricane right there. I call them hurricanes. I don't know what they're actually called. And you get some like darker gold along the edges there. And then you get this darker gold on the bottom for the thrusters. You get this red piece here, like you like you saw earlier. I like the sculpt for it. And then you get this flames that go over, so it makes him stand up with some orange and then some red over it. You get the purple legs and hands here. I like the sculpt for that. And then you get this joystick here, which is a ball joint single ball joint so you can rotate it if you want like that you can have it go up and down side to side easy you have that grip there you get that little trigger in there too another trigger on top so that's cool you get these red buttons here and a bunch of other buttons right here some other stuff really nice detailing on this figure but besides that let's go over to the articulation on him so first he does not have a head joint obviously but his arms can move up. Let's see if I can get this right. Okay, his arms can move up that high. And you can do 360 rotation around it. Pretty good. Uh, I think he has a bicep. Yeah, bicep swivel. It's kind of hard to do that because you could just basically swivel it with the shoulder, but yeah. Single jointed elbows that go. Low pat. Uh, Basically at 90 degrees right there, so that's nice. Wrists can hinge down that far, and yeah, up that far. 360 rotation around there, and then the legs to have that ball joint thing going on, so you could kick upwards like that, downwards that far. Double jointed knees, sing uh, oh yeah, pinless joints by the way too. And then his ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, and I think he has some ankle pivot. Yep, some ankle pivot there. So yeah, that's mode knock for you. Um, so yeah, um, at some point I might try to do an aim army if I have enough money and time for it because I gotta save up for a laptop for myself because I'm moving down to Ankeny or Ames or Des Moines, one of those places for uh, Iowa State. So yeah. Um, but besides that, I like this figure a lot. He's massive. Um, and this would be a great add-on for AIMS, the AIM army thing. I mean, it's kind of like a necessity. Uh, so yeah, recommend getting them. Uh, really big dude. Like, I'm surprised on how huge he is. I like the accessories that he comes with. Uh, I'm pretty much like stunned by him, um, but yeah. Uh, make sure you guys check out my Twitch. I am doing uh, Call of Duty, uh, Uno, and Friday the 13th whenever I can. So, uh, yeah, Twitch is the Hunter Collector, and thank you for watching.